Hello guys, welcome to our education and technology course. My name is Mfan Konad Lamin. In this course, we'll be taking a look at how to effectively use your smartphone as a student. Uh, um, many months ago, I came across a student who, who completed his high school and uh, as we were talking, I came to the realization that he, he wasn't aware how, how to use or how to use a smartphone uh, in learning or to use a smartphone in academic in academic uh, education so i was surprised so uh, it came to my understanding that uh, we shouldn't assume that people know things mm, it is better to educate people how to use their smartphone or technology in education effectively so in this course we'll be doing that we'll basically be acquainting or orienting people on how to use smartphone uh, for academic purpose so that is the primary objective of that phone of this course okay in this course outline we'll be taking a look at getting around an android phone We'll also take a look at how to use a web browser, installing apps, creating an email address, using an email address, and other useful apps that you, you, you should have in your Android phone. Of course, if you want to be successful in, in education. Okay, we are going to first take a look at uh, or, or getting around it and getting around it. In your Android phone. Okay, let us quickly jump to that part. Okay, we'll be using here my phone. So uh, I've installed most of the apps that you see here. So and uh, per, um, maybe before we finish this lesson, yes, I'm going to show you how to install apps uh, using your Android phone. So and uh, let us take a look at around this one here yeah, i've got quite a few apps here that will interest you okay and there are some few apps that i want everyone to note here that are very very important to have as a student the first one is opera main of course this is a web browser we've got chrome and and the other web browsers that are there is such as firefox uh, and there are many web browsers out there but the one which i prefer or which i like or which i recommend students to have is opera main so to use opera main is very simple once you have installed it uh, you can just click here and search uh, search for the subject matter of your choice such as this one let me search for good and then oh your, your data panelist should be on and yes once they are on it will load and then it will direct you to main options and then here we've got main options that you have here and then you can click one of them you can click one of them okay one of the things which i like about android phone is that once you have found your the the thing you're searching for here we have this is what we're searching for and here we have go you can save the page here just click here go to save pages and once you have saved the page, you can use it uh, later on or once you have closed your data bank, it's like now. And I can go to my save pages and here, here, this is the information. I don't need data bank, it's not now. I can just read it uh, maybe after five days or so or months. It depends on what you want. Another, input, another interesting thing is that uh, you can... You can edit that page or that site on a speed dial 
and this will come in handy when you want to quickly go to that site such as here you can just click these are the uh, the site which i've added on speed dive it's more like having a phone um next to that uh, having a phone number next to that phone so that if the phone number which you use most of the time it need to be there on the speed dial okay uh so a parameter is good uh, it help you it helps to save data banks because you can save pages and read them later on unlike chrome chrome is good also but it is fast but uh, i haven't found a way to save a page and read it later on so another important app uh, to have is a dictionary and there are quite a, a few dictionary dictionaries out there in fact there are many not few uh, yeah those which i have i've got oxford dictionary and miriam website dictionary the first one my favorite is miriam website dictionary for one simple reason miriam website dictionary comes with the with games in, inside it so here i've got many games many interesting games such as this one uh, you can play it and it will help you improve your vocabulary uh, as you can see so you can play this game uh, another interesting thing about it is that uh, uh, it gives you when you are searching uh, for a, a definition of a word it gives you uh, good quality information uh, in fact uh, uh, it explain it in details and even gives you synonyms and other information which you won't find in you won't find in other dictionary and the most important thing is that uh, you can use it offline you can use it offline Yeah, you can use it. as you can see my data panels are off. You can use it offline, and uh, you can uh, the, as you can see there are many information. You can even find the history of that word where when it was coined or when it was formed or the first time it was heard. So uh, antonyms, synonyms. So there's this is a good dictionary, and of course the Oxford Dictionary is good when you want to hear the pronunciation of it. You can use it. Just click in it. And search for that word that you are looking for and then you can hear the pronunciation here fun, fun. yes as you can see and uh, another important app to have is this one the english and idioms uh, when you want to learn english and idioms you can have these apps this app uh, it will come in hand another one that is important is current app uh, you want to, when you want to post a uh, large content or when you want to write something big uh, before posting it anywhere else you can write it here and then copy it by pressing on it and then highlighting it and once you're done once you're done highlighting you can click copy here and then paste it wherever you want to paste it so those are, are the apps that i recommend that everyone should have and they are very important if you want to uh, to be successful in your academics and another important thing another important thing that i said you will cover is creating an email address when you want to if you want to create an email address it is easy just search for create an email address or an email account or create a gmail account oh let me turn on my data bangles and then you can load here And then it will it will take you to this form and uh, this is the usual form that you, you normally have when you are signing into something you fill the information if you have a facebook account i uh, i believe you are familiar with this information so you can you can fill your name here your first name your last name and then fill your 
your username this is the name which you are going to use like bi-lamin1995 at gmail.com so maybe you are going to put it here say user user one two three four you can even put combination of numbers and then put your password and then confirm it and then the, uh, the instructions are very simple you will then take you into another page where you are going to insert your phone number in, in the, the uh, google is going to use that phone number to send a verification code so if you have a, a facebook account and then i believe this this is simple once you are done once you have an email address you can then go to 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 a browser or your gmail app uh, it, it, it comes with your android app you with your android smartphone so here this is my and then here you can you can add your your account here click add here so i already have my accounts here and this one is for african free knowledge institute this is the this is the account that we have and if you want to send information like hello or here to into you can write or you need to write the email address bi lamini lamini 1995 at G mail dot com and then you can put the subject here and let me say file and then I can write something maybe like read it at file read that file uh, I can even just send a message or put an attachment of that file. I can just here and then attach a file. It will take you where your files are. You, mm, I guess, mm, I think navigating here would be very easy. You can use it. Here I'm using my file manager. And then take me to downloads, uh, to documents then i have here then i can send it so this is my attached file i can send it to and to that email address or to my email address so i can go to my email address uh, where i'm going to receive it yeah, here here in my email address let me show you something which i have received recently here this person sent me an email address yeah this is this is the email and this is the attached file ah, that is simple so having an email address is very very important and many places such as if you want to create a youtube account you cannot have a youtube account a youtube channel without an email address even here in google Play Store, where we are going to download our apps they are going to demand that you have an email address before you can use this app then you can search for whatever app you are looking for here and let's say you are looking for whatsapp you can just click here and then click and then click install if it is not installed or you can search for the app you are looking for as you can see there are many apps here so that is how you use your android phone for education as you can see there are many apps here and many many interesting apps many dictionary if you want to learn a language play it no there are many learning apps you can use here dictionaries uh, no there are many apps here so this is what you need to know or you need to have to use an android app oh another one which i almost forget this one adobe acrobat you are going to use it most of the time when you want to read pdf files yeah these are my pdf files and when you want to read pdf files 
these are the apps which you are going to use most of the time and here i've got a pdf file for for the swati language uh, so i've got a pdf file and Adobe Acrobat is the most uh, is very important app to have and you can even use WPS Office. There are many PDF reader files, PDF reader apps that you can download out there. But Adobe Acrobat is the famous one. It is the one that most people know. So this is how you use your your Android 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 smartphone for academic. But you can even go to YouTube. Uh, to search for videos that will help you to understand other concepts that uh, are difficult to understand when they are written in form of notes. Here you can search for the video you're looking for. Let's say you want to programming, maybe you're learning programming. You can search for programming. You want to understand what programming is. They are going to give you many videos there. And you are going to get many options here. Uh, as long as maybe you write the correct spelling. So, this is how you use your Android app. Or, or in education or you know, for academic purpose. Uh, I guess this is everything I wanted to tell you or to teach you. So, thank you for your time.